Confronting the climate crisis needs to start with individuals consuming less in urban areas. And that's according to former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. CNA's Avro Hong sat down with the billionaire philanthropist earlier today to discuss how the world can counter the changes we're facing and whether or not we are seeing a sense of urgency. Climate change starts in the cities because that's where we use energy. If you could reduce the amount of energy used in the city, for example, turn off your air conditioner when you leave home. Don't let it run all day. You use less energy. 200 miles away, where they're generating energy, they generate, have to generate less, and so there's less pollution. We've all got to do, can do something. There's no secrets here about how you reduce consumption. The only thing is, do you have the willingness to reduce greenhouse gases? In America, we have, thanks to Bloomberg Philanthropies, closed 70% of all the coal-fired power plants. In Europe, we've closed 50% of all the coal-fired power plants, closed or being closed. That's made a big difference. You've just come off the COP27 summit in Egypt, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. And over there, we had hundreds of millions being committed to poorer nations. But that's far off the mark from the hundreds of billions that are needed for vulnerable countries to help cope with the effects of climate change, which you just mentioned. Do you think there is enough of a sense of urgency? Well, I don't think anyways, there's certainly not enough sense of urgency in dealing with the problem that the world is warming. And uh, every year it gets worse. Now, we've made some progress, so it could have gotten worse at a faster rate. I think we, in all fairness, have started to slow it down. But at the rate the ice caps are melting, the oceans are going to get warmer and higher. Higher will flood out a lot of small, low-altitude uh, countries. And the storms are going to get worse. If the ocean warms up, the storm gets its energy from the ocean. It'll carry more water. It will move slower. It will create more floods. And it will take water away from other places. So there'll be more droughts at the same time. People say, how can you have floods and droughts at the same time? Just take a look. Take a look at China. China had this past year some of the hottest days they've ever had and more of them than they've ever had. China, the rivers, are, a lot of them are way so low that you can't use them for commerce and that sort of thing. They don't have enough water. America has exactly the same problems. Nobody owns the problems. You can get them in a slightly different degree or a slightly different mixture, but we're all in this world together. And if you create more pollution, everybody, including you and me, suffer. If you reduce your pollution, everybody, including you and me, benefits. Do you think loss and damage compensation, which was a key issue I, at the summit, is it supposed to be part of the conversation in terms of climate finance? I, I think it's certainly an issue. I've always been in favor of foreign aid and helping people. There's a lot of people around the world who need help, not just from the effect of climate change. They need help from the effect of changing markets and from the effect of uh, changing uh, vegetation and the products that they produce not being valued in the marketplace anymore. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of issues. What my foundation's been focused on is trying to reduce the pollution. You have to do that or we're all going to be in very big trouble.